Okay, I've been asked several times to shoot a video about this process. I don't know that it's going to be the most exciting video because it's a pretty straightforward modification. Uh, I've got a couple of these here today. These are uh, gas plugs for the FAL rifle and like most rifles when you suppress the FAL um, the suppressor adds um, distance, effective distance, length, sorry, effective length to the barrel. And doing that means that the pressure um, is available longer in the gas system and that basically means it's overgassed. Uh, it's got more energy in the gas system than it needs to operate the weapon and it makes it operate a little heavier, more stoutly I guess I would say. Um, and that happens in the AR as well. Uh, in the FAL, the easy solution, easy solution I came up with was to just uh, weld this hole and then re-drill it in a smaller size. So to do this mod all you need is some method of grinding a little bit on the gas plug itself to be a reasonably competent welder because you need to be able to weld in this just this little area as well. I use a TIG and it's pretty accurate. Having said that I'll probably completely gunk one of these up when I try to film it. Um, so what I do is I basically V-cut this and uh, grind a little bit here. This hole lines up with the vent hole in the gas collar. Uh, so I weld that back up and just make it flush as well to again limit the amount of high pressure gas that's popping out of the gas collar um, because that's also a place where the noise occurs, right? Um, so I'll just, I'll video how that works. Basically, you know, grind, grind, weld, weld, redrill, well, center punch in the, in the weapon to get the right location, and then drill with 564. This is a 564 drill bit. Uh, and clean everything up, uh, blew it, if I've gummed it up to the point where it's not pretty anymore, and then, uh, uh, like I said, test fit it in a gas block. So let's go do the parts. So that's it. Simple V grind. This one's rounded. I use the upper roller wheel because it's a little bit less important than this weld. Time to weld. Actually, I'll do the other plug and then we'll show the welding. All right, so now what I've got is a foul barrel with the gas block on it. And what we'll do is we'll take the gas plugs now that fit in here. 
and we'll move them to the position that would normally be the grenade position because that means the plug, remember the plug when it's in its normal firing position over here, that hole is pointed down into the barrel. So we need it in the opposite position and in its happy little detent and then we're going to put the transfer punch in the uh, gas bleed hole pointy side down. I want it as much as I think I can. And that should have netted us a yeah, happy spot where we can start our drill procedure. And the same thing for the other plug we're making today. All right, so I've taken a center punch and increased the size of these divots a little bit just so the drill bit will feed into it a little bit better. I've got my clamp here. I take the, this clamp has some play in it, so you'll see me offset the hole a little bit and then let the hole roll up. And that's it. So again, the grind, grind, weld, weld, grind it all flush again, put it in a barrel with a gas block, make your mark, drill your hole, clean it up on the grind, a little cold blue to make it the same color again, and then I chuck them back in their boxes and send them back to their happy new owners.